What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Quarantino the Guy, coming at you live and direct, and today we have a very special topic. So today, I wanted to come with you, come at you guys with, you know, something real. Something real. Something that's going to help you out in your real life. You know, because some of these things that I might be telling y'all, you might wonder to yourself, how how am I going to apply this? Like, it, it, it just seems, it just seems so crude. It just seems you know, so drastic and, and it might seem overbearing, but guys, it's not. And I'm going to tell you why. When I tell you, if, 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 if shorty been ran through, you found out she'd been ran through, if she'd been on dating naps, you should drop her. Why does that, why does that offend you guys? Why does that, uh, make you take a step back and shit you know what I mean like it's not that big of a deal because if you know anything about women you know that it's so easy for them to get dick if they ain't getting dick thrown at them through their social media Instagram Twitter and all that shit they getting dick thrown at them through the dating apps there are plenty viable options for them but they're trying to level up and get the best one possible. <clears throat> and this is where your boy Tino comes in. Right? Become the best possible option that she will ever get. Because my nigga, if you do that, even if she leaves your ass high and dry in the sky, it doesn't matter. She'll be crawling back to you. Why? Because all these other niggas just want to smash. You know, you, you might have been on some shit where you was trying to build something with her. Right? Doing everything that you can. Spending your bottom dollar. And, 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 and for those of you who, who've been following my shit, we don't spend shit. Nothing. Nothing. You know, we are demanding the best out of these chicks, especially if you are a six-figure nigga. Hey, all my six-figure niggas, y'all need to raise your hand and stand up strong on your ten toes. I don't give a fuck if you fat as fuck. You need some work to do, yeah? It doesn't mean you're done improving yourself. But if you got to that point where your finances are in shape, if you got to that point where your finances are, are in a position where you can actually have some freedom in your life. You need to be taking full advantage of that. Improve yourself, men. Improve yourself. Make more bread. Get in shape. That bitch should not be able to run longer than you. Speed is a different thing. But you should be able to outwork her. Like I'm saying, y'all niggas is getting outworked. You see, if you become the best possible option, she will come back. And by then, you can use and abuse. You know, not physically. But you can beat the pussy up until she realizes that she done fucked up by leaving. Never, ever take a woman back if she leaves you. Never. You know, take her back and smash, of course. If she's throwing a pussy, why not? Hit. By all means. But never take her seriously again. She left you high and dry, my nigga. With nothing to your name. The only relationship you should be able to continue with her is by smutting her out as revenge.
I know it sounds harsh, guys, but you don't understand how they're thinking about it. She is thinking, (laughs) this sorry-ass motherfucker, this sorry-ass, low-ass, bitch-ass, dog-ass nigga. See, I, I, I had left and fucked on his homeboy. And came back and he still took me back. That's how I know my pussy good. Uh, eh, eh. That's what these bitches is thinking, bro. And that's what they telling themselves and their friends. They are embarrassing us. Defiling our names. Knocking us down a peg or two. Well, shit, I oughta knock that bitch down after she try and come back. It's what you should do. I don't give a fuck how crude it sounds. I don't give a fuck how mean it sounds. It's real nigga shit. And all of my guys need to be on the same bullshit. Now, if you really was working it out with a chick, you know what I mean? She's solid. She's doing everything that you ask. She's on your program. She's working for you. You know what I'm saying? She's bringing value to your life. Do her, do her good. You know, give her, give, give her the world. In your, in, in your stroke, <laughs> the world in your stroke. Don't get that bitch nothing else. I mean, you give her a gift every now and then, but guys, do not overextend your hand. Ask yourself, would she do the same for you? Bitches be wanting gifts and shit. But she won't do the same for your dumb ass. You done bought her a ring. You done bought her a necklace. And all you can get is a tool supply kit for your birthday. She don't even suck your dick. She just give you a buck, a fucking box of screwdrivers and say, hey, have a ball. Some of y'all niggas is okay with getting a video game for your birthday from a bitch. Since when has a video game ever kept its value? Tell me, please. 2K? Madden? Nigga, them shits is $35 now! And you done cashed out $350 on a new bag for the bitch. See, the thing is, men, we don't have a problem with spending our bread on a chick. You feel me? We're we're okay with that. That's something that, you know, it, it brings a smile to our face to make our woman happy. But the only way that you can even know if a bitch likes you is if she spends money on you. You see, a man is already interested in the physical. Now I want to see where your mind is at. I want to see where your head is at, especially a high earner, especially a nigga who got that bag. Because, baby, you can't play coy for forever. You can't do it. It's impossible. But she going to act like she don't be busting it open on the first date. It's because she ain't attracted to you, my nigga. If she don't let you get to third base, she's not attracted to you. If you don't try her on the first date, she going to think you a whole ass nigga. She going to think you a bitch. She going to think, oh, he ain't used to getting pussy. Oh, oh, oh I'm going to just drag him along. At least you know where you stand. If I try a bitch on the first date and she don't hit me back, cool. That ain't no problem. I know where I stand. It's never happened to me either. Just for the record. They always want to make up for it. Because they knew they made a mistake. When they fucked with me, when they fucked me over... They knew they made a mistake. When she left and tried to come back, 
They all I always get this text from women. Oh, you were you, you treated me so well, and 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 I don't think anybody will ever treat me the way that you did, and I'll never settle for anyone who doesn't treat me the way that you treated me. I get this text a lot, a lot, and it ain't just like oh, bitch is just leaving a nigga. Oh no, nah. no. Nah. You know, my younger days, my naive days, when I was just getting started in the game, yeah, they played with your ass. They'll play with a nigga. No cap. And that's real deal, holy field. It don't matter wh- how you look. The look don't make the man. The dreads don't make the man. This hat right here, it don't make the man. <laughs> It's what you got on the inside, young brother. It's about your heart, nigga. Your pride. The respect that you demand. Never take her back. Don't do it. If she breaks it off with you, let the bitch walk. You hear me? If she cheated on you, let the bitch walk. If she was talking to other niggas, let the bitch walk. You can't hug a nigga in my presence. Your bitch should not be hugging niggas. Why is she so touchy-feely? Oh, I'm a hugger. I'm a hugger. Not with me. Maybe with some other nigga. You ain't hugging no nigga in front of me. Now behind my back shit. You, you might do. You, you could do whatever the fuck you want to do. If I find out though. Guys. Demand something out these bitches. Because we know for damn sure. They demand something out of you. Rich nigga. Eight figure. That's my type. Six foot with a pipe. That's all night. They demand a lot out of you. So you should demand as much, if not more. More. Because it requires more to maintain them. With us, fuck us, feed us, we're good. We're good. Be nice. Be kind. Think of someone other than yourself. We're good. With a woman, you got to do a whole lot more to keep that bitch. Just know. And she going to test you. Rarely do men test their woman. Rarely. Start testing these bitches. Put SAT in front of a man. Put the CRCT in front of this bitch. Put the Iowa test in front of this bitch. You need to be great in Scantrons, nigga. She need to answer a hundred questions before moving on to the mathematics section, before moving on to the English section, before moving on to the history section, before moving on to the sciences section. She need to answer them all. Bubble them in the lines. If she can't color within these lines, she can't be my bitch. Set a standard. Stick to it. The hell is wrong with y'all niggas? Letting these bitches walk all over you because you ain't got shit. Get your own crib, my nigga. If you got to get male roommates, whatever roommates, whoever the fuck it is to save money, grind. Work for something greater. But get out. Up from under that bitch. She doesn't respect you because you live with her. You live with your girl in her household. 
You live with your mama in her household. If you living with a woman, get up from under her. She won't respect you. If you're a grown man, 18 and up, there's no woman. None. Not your grandmama, not your mama, not your auntie. Auntie. They are looking at you sideways. They don't take you seriously as a man because you up under a bitch. And don't and don't get mad that I'm saying bitch. Cause these bitches say bitch too And they call each other bitches And I call a bitch a bitch And now it's a problem But lo and behold A rap nigga call a bitch a bitch And it's all good They popping their pussy for them They like being called bitches man They don't think y'all niggas got the balls To call a bitch out her name Sweet ass hoe ass niggas man is she acting like a bitch, a hit dog, a holler? Guys, step it the fuck up. Step it up now. Improve on yourself now. Grind on your craft now. Get a trade now. Get your education now. Get some money now. Build upon yourself now. Work out. Lose that um them handle them handlebar weights or whatever the fuck they call them shits. Them I ain't even never had them. Them side shits, the fat on the side handlebars. I don't know what the fuck they called. Lose that shit. Become your best self. Stop dressing like a slob. Guys, I know it's I know it hurts. I know it takes a lot of work. I know it's difficult. But this is what needs to be done to turn the tide. See, these bitches can say niggas ain't shit all they want because right now we ain't doing shit. Step up, man. It's about time. If you a young guy and you watching this, step up. Create something for yourself so that five, ten years down the line, can't no bitch tell you shit. Can't no nigga tell you shit. And this is coming from Quarantino, man. This ain't no regular everyday nigga. I'm on my dean with the bullshit, you see. Improve. Growth. Upward mobility. And then when she comes crawling back, just laugh. (laughs) You missed a chance. (laughs) Ain't no nigga gonna treat you like the way I treated you. And that's facts. Show her a good time. Treat her better than any other nigga would. That shit don't work. That shit don't work. But if you got her and she is under your program, then and only then do you implement these strategies. In 2020, your bitch should be updating you about every hour on her whereabouts. Your bitch should be updating you every hour about what the fuck she doing. You should have access to her phone, man. Don't let them tell you that's some toxic shit. That's some real man shit. I need to know where the fuck you at to protect what's mine. I need to know who the fuck texting you to protect what's mine. 
I need to know who the fuck sliding in your DMs to protect what is mine. And if I don't, then I really don't give a fuck about you. If I'm not trying to protect what I have, I don't give a damn. You gave a bitch the key to your crib. She's staying under your roof. That's how it should be. And if she's under your roof, she gonna abide by your rules. It's not hard. It's not hard. It's not hard. But if she leaves, let the bitch walk. Let her go. If she come back, dick her down. No sleepovers. And that's how you really run this game, my brother. Because if you was doing everything that you had to do, as a man stepping up to the plate and she decided to walk, she can walk the plank with that bullshit. We ain't playing in 2020. We gonna protect what's ours. If you claiming her, if you claiming her, if you committed to her in any way, Protect your house. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Quarantino to God. <sighs> Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And ask your relationship advice questions in my email below with a screenshot of your cash app. Because you know we need some tithes and offerings in this bitch. The church uh, don't run uh. Off of just faith. Because faith without works is dead. And you trying to be on your dean, right? So shit, donate to the nigga. Let me help y'all out, man. Come on. <laughs> you already know what it is. It's your boy, Quarantino the God. I'm out. <laughs>